thank you for staying tuned. May the good energy of modern nature bless you today and his folks. Man, I want us to talk about a very important seed, okay? A important seed that stands for defense, that can spoil any type of sham, right? So some of us, some of us see it, but we don't really know it, okay? And uh, we tend to ignore the spiritual impact it has. So we also, most of us know palm, palm oil, palm kernel oil, okay? But this is a special palm kernel oil called the as the species of palm, palm tree, okay? Called the Elias guineensis okay that's the botanical name so and i want us to i want to just tell you how to differentiate them then how to use them for spiritual work okay first of all you have to differentiate them to know which is what so they have some other species of palm fruits okay they have other species of palm fruits but there is common ones about palm fruits all right so the most common is this ordinary palm fruit which we use to cook and then we use both all of them to cook but there's one that is highly powerful spiritually and medicinally that is called the we in our part of the world call it uh aku ojuku okay so they call it aku ojuku but in botanical name so that you can be able to find it maybe through google you can be able to see it and to know what it is called in your own country and your dialect okay is the botanical name is Elias guineensis i will try to put it on the screen so that you will see it so you can be able to find it and know what it is called in your dialect and then you can be able to use it okay so this is the akwojuku the Elias guineensis okay so now the simple way to differentiate this from ordinary palm fruit is that when you come to this tip of it the ordinary palm fruit will be dark you see dark points here okay so this dark points there will be a dark circle semicircle here around the edges then you know that is ordinary palm fruit but this particular species of palm fruit is called the Elias guineensis okay this is the aquaduku very medicinal now both the oil can destroy any part of sham both the seed oil the extract from the seed oil if you lick it, it can destroy any poison even if rub on your skin can kill any type of um, uh, um what is this called all this 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 stuff that happened to people rheumatism yeah rheumatism and all this okay so it can help to leave the effects the oil this the oil that the 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 oil extracted from the seed okay which is like uh, coconut oil extract all right so this it can spoil any charm all right lick any little of it in the morning you will be able to eat any type of food throughout the day nothing to fear about poison now how do you extract the seed oil from it after you've sorted out the red oil from this then you crack open the shell the seed in it after it has dry you put it on a pot and you put enough of it to be big on a pot then this oil extra that oil that extra put it in a can separately okay in the morning just take it a, a dip of it put in your mouth and go out nothing like poison can ever enter you okay now how to use this thing to ward off evil and as hold as, as a defense against evil attack in your home okay now every evil person knows that this thing is a powerful element against any evil magic so once they see this sighted anywhere close to your home consciously you place them their hearts will caught first and once they are heart caught any evil they are with them spoils that is how it happens in spiritual once they send the attack and the spirit of this is seen hanging on a very special place in your home the evil sent against that home the spirit first of all will mellow because to respect this spirit as a defensive spirit first before they will not negotiate whether this attack is karma or not okay so before you have to use all these things you must be sure your hands are clean now how do you use this thing to ward off defense defend your home or ward off any attack 
but before you use this, you must have cleansed your home from any initial apparel. You, you, you must have used the the Ebubago or the Sansevieria stem, the three of it. As I said in my other one of the video I did, you cleanse your home. You make sure you cleanse your home of every negative aura. Make sure you disinfected yourself spiritually. Then, before you can place this, once you place this, you are sure it was of any enemy from your home. Now, how do you do this? You get a seed of this, a seed of this. And you get empty can, like a small can, all right, like this. Then you put it inside one, a seed. So you have to get the one that can enter. Okay. Once it is, use a thread and tie it and hang it somewhere. Okay. Or you can just keep it on top of something. Make sure don't keep it on the ground, okay? Keep it on top of something, in either a closed place or open place. Either in a enclosed place, or you can keep it where anybody can see it, okay? And you're safe. But make sure before that, you've cleansed your home from a previous negative energies, alright? So this is this. And oil from this, you can use it and leak against poison, alright? So anything, any part of this particular Palm, palm oil, palm fruit, and palm tree was of evil and dispels evil spell and causes and dispel and sham. So the water from this, if you wash the water, pour it on the ground where you suspect there is magic sham or evil sham, it is dissolved, it is destroyed. That is it. Apo Ojupu, this is it. So you stay tuned and you stay blessed. I mean the good energy of these fruits bring me prosperity, bring you prosperity. And what and defend us from every evil charm. Amen.